Pasta Primavera. Hello all guys, welcome back again to see me in my official channel of cooking. So, what kind of food recipe that I will resting up today? Mm, there are so many kind of food recipe that I resting every day. So today I will resting one food that is the very healthy food recipe. That is a kind of salad. Mm, no. Okay, so don't wait more. Let's go through with me. Pasta Primavera is a relatively modern dish with its origin in the 1970s, specifically tied to the American culinary scene rather than traditional Italian cuisine. Why am I talking like this? Because the pasta is from American and Primavera is the Italian word that means spring and the dish is presumably referring to the many vegetables found in the dish. Okay, so this is the reason why Pasta Primavera is the classic Italian American dish that combines pasta with the fresh, vibrant vegetable. Pasta Primavera is a dish that celebrates with the freshness of vegetable, making it symbol of the sister lighter, health conscious cooking in America. So let's go with all ingredients. A quarter cup fresh basil, fresh parsley, a half cup peas, parmesan cheese, a half teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon salt, one cup broccoli flore, cherry tomato, one zucchini, one bun asparagus, two tablespoon butter, three clove garlic, four tablespoon olive oil, twelve ounce pasta. So. Let's go and see all process. First, I'm adding the pasta and cook in a pot of salt water until al dente, and drain the pasta and set aside. Another, in the light skillet, heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat and add bean garlic and saute for 1-3 to three minutes. Don't forget to add the broccoli and asparagus along with. Cook about 5-7 to seven minutes or until the vegetables are tender but still creep. Okay, remember that. Add the zucchini, cherry tomato and peas for another 2-3 to three minutes more. After that, add the cooked pasta into the skillet with the vegetable, pure in the remaining 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And this step, we need to top everything together until it is mixing well. Lastly, add fresh basil, parsley, salt and pepper. Okay, so right now you see how it mixing. That is a mixing color, so nice from the pasta, greeny and another radish from the tomato as well so that is really colorful and also healthy and also aromatic from another lemon juice as well the lemon zest that topping on yeah of course so garnish with the freshly great parmesan cheese and extra fresh herb as well yes it's well done let's move to test with me oh my god that really really dusty and yummy Really enjoy.